Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. I was hoping to start a series on my channel called Coffee Talk where we sit down about once a week and talk about a topic that you guys would like me to talk about. Since my subscriber list isn't very large right now, I decided that I would pick the topic for this week and I decided I would talk about how I became a CNA and what I exactly do. Alright, so I decided to become a CNA about two years ago. Um, I wanted something different, a different career choice, so I decided to just jump on the bandwagon and become a CNA, right? Um, so I started looking around at different classes for CNA course. Uh, a lot of them were at the top, uh, there was some at the tech schools around me and stuff. Um, but a lot of them were very expensive or, or they didn't fit into my schedule because I did have a full-time job at the time. Uh, so I decided to apply for a CNA class that at the job where I'm working now. Um, the way that it works was you have to apply like you're applying for an actual job. Um, you go through the application, the interview, and then once you get accepted, not only do you get accepted for the class, you get accepted for a position at the end of your class course for the, the place that I work with now. So the whole uh, process took probably about a month, month and a half to do, but uh, they paid for you, they paid for my class, and they also paid me while I was taking the class, so it was really nice. Um, so I got accepted to the course, and the course was for like about four weeks, Monday through Friday, seven to three, depending on whether or not I had clinicals. So it was really nice. It was like I had, was actually working and had a job, and I was getting paid for it. Um, so yeah, I got done with that, and I passed the class, and then I had to go on to get through my state test, which a lot of people freak out about. The state test is two parts. One part is uh, the written part where you it's just like a normal test, and the other part is the skill part. The skill part is what most people worry about is because somebody's sitting there watching you do everything that you're supposed to, and if you get it wrong, you don't pass. And it, Me, I passed on the first try, thankfully, so I didn't have that much to worry about. So once I uh, passed that, I was just finally a CNA, and I could actually start working at the place where I was taking the course. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I've i been a CNA now for about a year and a half. Um, I work, right now I work the PM shift. It's uh, from 1.45 to 10.15 at night, which I see, I enjoy it a lot. I'm not, I've been working morning shifts my whole, every job I've had I've always worked the morning shift, so it's really nice to have an afternoon shift. Um, and then the place that I work can mandate you to work more, like overtime, which we call forcing. Um, how that works is when we get our schedule, we get it in four weeks' time. Two weeks of our, our final, which is set in stone, and then two weeks as our proposal, where it could be, but we could also pick up more shifts or get forced from our shifts in those two weeks. Um, so the, our job on that, the final and the proposed, they can force you to work more shifts. Um, and then if, say, you're working, like I work at PM and it's like 10 o'clock at night and the third shift, somebody didn't show up, they could force me to work that third shift. So that, a lot of people don't like being forced, but the way I see it, it's better to be forced than to work short. So this way, for most of it, we are always up staff. So it's very nice because we never have to work short. It makes our job a lot easier because we're not working harder than we have to be. Um, so yeah, uh, so what a typical day for me looks like is I go to work at 1.45, I get report, normally it goes from 1.45 to 2, and then I do rounds with the AM shift, um, see what's all needs to be done, who's been last toileted. Um, after that, I hand out my linen for the shift um, for, to everybody, and then we do any fabs that we have to do. Um, we st st take a break, and then we start toileting people and getting people up for supper. Um, at supper time, we uh, hand out the trays, we feed anybody who needs help being fed, and then I, and that's pretty much supper time. Um, after supper, we, there's a little bit of time, uh, we toilet people again, and then I take another break, and then between my second break and my last break, it's all working on getting people washed up and put to bed. Um, 
not everybody goes to bed at the same time. So you're pretty much the for a couple hours you're just putting people to bed. Uh so yeah. That's pretty much what I do for the whole second half of my shift is just wash people up and put them to bed. And also doing a lot of charting. Uh charting is probably the worst because you're sitting there and you have to mark everything down and it just gets really annoying and sometimes you're so busy that you don't get to start charting until the last half hour of your shift and so that's a lot to get in at one time so yeah um that is pretty much what i do the place i work at is a nursing home or a long-term care facility uh some people use it as a rehab uh but most people it's a nursing home where people stay when they can't go uh stay home um for me becoming a CNA, it made me realize how much I like this field and like I like the health field and working with people. So I then decided that I wanted to become a nurse. So hopefully I'm gonna be starting nursing school here in a couple months and I'm really appreciative that being a CNA has helped me realize that that's what the career path I wanna take because for the last couple of years I didn't know what I wanna do with my life. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to continue my journey on and explore different parts of the health field. Um, hopefully meet new people, learn as much as I can. So yeah, if uh, you have any questions about being a CNA, how to be a CNA, what other things CNAs do, just leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope to make more videos about CNA nursing. Uh, eventually, when I become a nursing student, I'll make nursing student videos too. And yeah, but comment below what you want to see, and I'll I'm trying to post multiple videos a week. Uh, like this channel if you like, want me to continue coffee talk. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a great Thursday, and I will hopefully see you soon. Thanks, guys.